The debate on whether to decriminalize sex work has been raging in South Africa for years, and now it seems that the conversation is no longer about whether sex work will be decriminalized, but rather about when. And this is the case because of what President Cyril Ramaphosa told activists and organizations lobbying for this. The president said that the government will review laws criminalizing sex work, but there are groups in the country who oppose this move, and they include the ACDP, and they are represented in the studio this evening by party leader, the Reverend Kenneth Mishra. Good evening and welcome, sir. Good evening. And uh, also joined by Nosipo Menosipo Vidima from Sex Worker Education and Advocacy Task Force, also known as SWEAT. She is joining us from our Cape Town studios. And welcome, Ms. Vidima. Pleasure to have you with us this evening. You probably... Nosipo, are happy that the president says he will be looking at the process of reviewing all the laws that criminalize sex work in the country. What do you expect from his statement? We, uh, so this is not the first time that a political um, member or a pe political persona or official has actually called out for the decriminalization of sex work. If you remember in 2016, the president had also promised that he was going to fast track the realization of human rights of sex workers and at that time had not said decriminalization of sex work itself. Um, and he had released a national strategic plan for HIV and he did not give timelines into making this a visible um, realization for the human rights of sex workers. So around this time, yes, we are happy. Uh, we're congratulating him on to taking a stance um, to, to, to realize the human rights of sex workers. Um, and we just want a timeline on wh what, could, what we could be looking at in, times, in, in terms of processes, um, legislation change, uh, who will be actually be sitting on the steering committee because this also has moved from just being an issue of sex workers and has fallen into the issue of GBV and femicide in South Africa. This is not a call from sex workers only. It's a call from women that have suffered uh, from the hands uh, 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 of brutal men and are saying enough is enough. Uh, it's time for change. It's time for legislation to protect women and women's rights and women's bodies. Now, the benefit is you're seeking protection, right, in terms of abuses. But why should it be decriminalized if that is the intention, to protect sex workers? Shouldn't you be calling for more protection or safety measures for, for, uh, for sex workers? In other words, my question is, what are the benefits of decriminalizing sex work? So across the globe, there are many legislations or models that have been tried to actually regulate sex work or provide protection for sex workers and those who work in the sex industry. But with only, it, is, it has been seen that with only decriminalization, uh, you, you can be able to provide health rights based um, uh, services to sex workers. Uh, it is where you actually reduce stigma and discrimination. Uh, it is where you reduce the, margin, the marginalization of sex workers. It is where human rights, especially ours, where we live in a constitution that values human life and values health and values labor rights, can we actually uh, see this realized for sex sure. workers? It is only through the decriminalization of sex work. Um, also, we must also remember that we live in a, in, in a continent where we're constantly trying to reduce the HIV prevalence. The studies and the, and, and the research that has been done in the continent itself has shown us that it's the only model. Decriminalization is the only model that will give us these outcomes, where we okay. see reduced well, HIV, we see reduced of course, violence. When, we when, see when the president talks about reviewing legislation, it is taken for granted or to mean that this is going to have to go to Parliament and the African Christian Democratic Party is represented there. So I wonder if the Reverend Kenneth Mishra, your party, will be supporting the move to review some of the legislation, given what we've just had from NOSIPO. A team, the ACDP loves this country, loves families. We are looking at the interest of the whole family, not just a group of people called sex workers or prostitutes. Now, we know that when men who have uh, challenges with their wives uh, have to resolve problems and uh, sex work is decriminalized, rather than sit down and solve problems, they just run 
away uh, to, to meet these prostitutes. And we know that a number of divorces that have taken place in South Africa, uh, people have cited as a reason uh, men who have uh, double-crossed them, men who have been involved in immorality and sex outside their relationship. So decriminalizing sex work or prostitute, prostitution is not going to solve the problem, it's going to perpetuate the problem because even those who are talking about uh, prostitutes are not protected, they are being abused. When you decriminalize, it's also going to make things but, worse but because... But an argument can be made, uh, okay. the Reverend, that actually sex work might strengthen families because men cheat anyway they are likely to have mistresses and have extramarital affairs which may damage the very fiber that very fabric of uh, family life you, you see that with 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 sex workers being available then those married people will go outside and come back home and look after their family Sim, that is impossible that's not going to happen any man with who self-respect does not want to share his wife with another man. So to go to, and also wives, the same thing. They don't want to share their husbands with other women. So if a man goes around, sleeps around with prostitutes, then the wife knows my husband sleeps with prostitutes. You can pick up HIV, AIDS, or any other uh, sexual disease, you know, transmitted disease, you know. So rather than help, it is going to destroy families and because we are concerned about the family we are concerned about unwanted pregnancies we are concerned about three children who do not have fathers because when if you are a prostitute you will not know who made yeah. you pregnant you but, know? but I want to, to hear your comments on at least the labor rights of the whole thing because firstly it's the definition of this as sex work right and the moment it's accepted or regarded as work then Sex workers should enjoy the same rights as defined in the Labor Relations Act. You'll comment on this okay, in a moment. The, the, Let me just bring in Non Dumiso. I okay, want you to okay. just to hold the thought All right. for a moment. Non Dumiso, welcome. Non Dumiso is uh, in Jobik. Welcome. Thank, yeah. you for, thank you for taking my call. Yeah. My take in, in all this is that, you know, there is so much money in this country which is wasted. There are people with hanging boots and you know, stomachs, because they are, there is so much money. There is so much money that is wasted instead of giving people jobs. Women do not want to be fat all over. I'm sorry for the language. People do not want to sleep around to make money. They want to work. That is normal decency of women. You know, African leaders, including our leaders in South Africa, they think that it is not, it is funny when people are actually drowning, being sold as slaves, while they are busy. Okay, no, 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 so just the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I, I want to hear your, your point or your position on the fact that uh, sex yeah. work, sex work they don't may want be, to sleep I, I understand, to make money but, but, or but, feed but their families. yeah, the point is made and I accept it. I want to find out from you, do you, accept that sex work should be decriminalized do you do you go along with it it must be criminalized and people must be given proper work okay it must be criminalized in fact all right leaders Thank must be jailed so sure, sure, sure. there are crisps there are sex right. workers in their country okay non to me so is in johannesburg and no sipo you had known to me so feels very strongly and uh, she believes or feels that the whole point of sex work is a result or a consequence of the fact that there's high unemployment rate in the country. If you can fix that, then you must do away with sex work. What do you think? Well, the odd thing about this is that many sex workers who are actually in sex work have tried informal uh, sectors uh, like your domestic work. And because of the, 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 the wage uh, being very small in these industries or these informal work, many sex workers enter into sex work so they, they can have more to provide for their children. A study done here in South Africa has shown that sex workers are actually providers of income and livelihood to more than four up to to seven uh, adult or de uh, adult dependents or children, uh, meaning that you are actually looking at what Nondumisa was actually stating that women should be given the opportunity to provide yes. for their children and for their families. Yes. 
sex workers get into it just for exactly that reason, but with much more resources than they would normally get at informal work. And sure. yes, we know there is waitressing, there is farming, but all of these do not provide even the bare minimum wage. Okay, well, the Reverend, my earlier question on the labor rights of sex workers. Well, at least if it's uh, decriminalized, then they can enjoy those rights. Okay, ACDP has never accepted that definition that prostitution is sex work. It's not work, it cannot be find, defined as labor, it is vice. Okay, it is something that does not enhance family relationships, but it is a habit and it is a behavior that destroys families. And ACDP believes you cannot have a strong nation when you have poor and broken families. So prostitution does not help build or advance the interests of the family. It is only people who want to promote, promote something that is going to affect negatively that will also contribute to human trafficking. You know that human trafficking is a major problem, and many of the people who are trafficked, particularly women, is into sex work, is into prostitution. So if you want to reduce human trafficking and sexual exploitation, we need to do away with thinking. Actually, our president is out of order. I say the president is out of order. He is admitting that the ANC has failed to create the environment for which jobs can be created. Okay. Women need decent jobs and not prostitution. The Reverend Kenneth Meshwe, thank you very much for having been our guest this evening. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, Nosipo Vidima in our Cape Town studios, thanks again for having joined us and participating in the discussion. Tomorrow morning, I'll be joined by Professor Francis Fukuyama, and he'll be sharing his views about how to build a prosperous democratic nation. And we'll be having a discussion with Elijah Mshanga as well as uh, Mr. Masondo of Naptosa on how to rebuild or strengthen the education system in South Africa. And that's all we had for you tonight. Join me tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. News is next. Good night to you.